Ryan, uh, give me a sense of what it's like on campus. If somebody wanted to get to you, if an agent wanted to get to you, how easy would it be on Arkansas's campus? You know, I really don't know. Uh, you know, we met with some agents in the summer set up by the school, and uh, I basically told them I don't want to have any contact with agents during the season. I'll wait till after the season to get all that done. Um, you know, but they're around. Um, I heard there were some at the game in Dallas. I was told by some people from the school, but I haven't had any contact with them. You hear uh, people say that uh, athletes need to get paid. Uh, do you need to get paid to play college football? No, I don't think so. You know, we get our scholarship paid for to go to school, and, and that's what we're here for. We're student athletes. We're here to get our education and, and then play sports. Um, you know, we get a scholarship check to pay rent and, and get groceries. I don't, I don't think we need to be paid. How much do you get as far as your monthly stipend for groceries? You know, it really it depends on the school. Uh, I think we get some around 800 uh, a month here, and that's for rent and groceries. Uh, and I think it, it, it depends on, uh, you know, the living area and, and how much the real estate is in each area. Uh, so I think it differ, differs from school to school. But we, we keep trying to figure out a solution to what happens on college campuses. The Sports Illustrated uh, story where the agent said he paid players. How prevalent is it, Ryan? Um, I, I really couldn't answer that. I've never been offered uh, money from an agent. I've never been offered anything from an agent. Uh, you know, and I hope that doesn't come up. Obviously, my answer would be no. I feel like there's, there's too much uh, risk in that. You know, when you have a chance to, to better yourself and, and have a better career, uh, I don't feel like that risk is, is rewarding enough. Do you have money to go out on a date? Yeah, I have a little extra spending money. I'll get mom to send me a little extra money now and then. Okay, but could you hold a job if you wanted to, maybe during the off season with football or when you're home uh, after the college uh, year is over? Yeah, definitely. I had a uh, job in the summer, um, and if, if you have one in the fall, it, it would probably have to be a night job considering the hours you, you, you have class and you lift weights and things like that. He's Ryan Mallett, Arkansas quarterback, joining us for the Dan Patrick Show. All right, now the really serious question. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Last year you were listed at 6'7", the media guide. This year you're listed at 6'6". Could you tell me what happened? You know, they, I think they had a mismeasurement last year. Um, uh, I, I measured in at 6'6", six, six, but at the beginning of camp or, you know, whenever they did that thing for the, for the media guy. Okay, so are you, you're blaming the mistake on the media guide. You didn't lie about your height, or they, they didn't try to make you bigger than what you really are? You know, I can't answer that. I didn't uh, print the media guide, and, and I didn't write it up or nothing, anything like that. So, you know, I don't know what happened. All right, I'm not accusing you of anything, Ryan. I just know sometimes guys are bigger in the media guide, the program, than what they really are, right? You know, some teams do that, I feel like. <laughs> Did you take something to shrink? No. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Um, Okay. You know, I feel like I might still be growing, uh, uh, but uh, okay. I think I pretty much leveled off. Can you still win the Heisman Trophy? I have no idea. Uh, no clue, and, and that's what not really my focus right now. We have a, a tough game at Auburn, and it's, it's, it's bigger than the Alabama game uh, at this point. Uh, there's not as much uh, of a media craze around here as there was for the Alabama game, but we know it's, it's, it's bigger than that game. But if I said you could pick, you could have it a win against Auburn or a win against Alabama... Who are you taking? Both. No, no, it doesn't work that way. You already lost Alabama, but I'm going to say you can make a pick here. You said this is more important than the Alabama game. Well, then, I mean, it's Auburn. Uh, it's our next game. Uh, you can't look back and, and, you know, have wishful thinking. Obviously, we had a chance to win that game, and, and we didn't pull it out. So I, I would definitely take the Auburn win. Do you uh, have nightmares about the Alabama loss? Uh, not at all. Uh, you know, I watch it here, here and there uh, just to stay motivated, uh, you know, with that extra motivation to, to keep working hard and, and get in the film room even more than I already do. But what, what part of that game, do you focus on the good or do you focus on that fourth quarter? You know, I focus on both, uh, you know, and just, and just see what happened and what I was doing different from uh, the fourth quarter and the rest of the game. You keep an eye on what happens at Michigan? A little bit. I see the highlights here and there. <laughs> Would you like to face them in a bowl game? You know, I don't have any grudges uh, against against Michigan at all, but I think it would be a, a pretty neat deal to be able to play them. They, they're a great program. 
uh, one of the most toy programs in college football. I was able to play with them in a bowl game, and you know, I think it'd be kind of ironic to play them in a bowl game. A one-loss SEC team or an undefeated smaller conference school? How do you think that would play out? Without naming names, if I just said one school's going to have one loss or you're going to have these other smaller schools or smaller conference schools, uh, who plays for the national title? You know, I think you got to go by strength of schedule. Um, obviously, in the SEC, it's a it's an every week grind. Uh, there's not an easy game in the SEC, and you know, I'm not saying there's easy games in other conferences, but I think this is the the toughest conference in the nation. Uh, and I don't know how you keep a one loss SEC team out of the national championship if they win the SEC championship. I got uh, Les Miles on next hour. Uh, anything that I need to talk to him about? A message that you'd like to send to him? I think you got him in uh, late November. No, not really. Just good luck. <laughs> Who's the best quarterback in the SEC? Um, I'm going to go with Cam. Cam is better than you. I didn't say that. Well, no, I just said who's the best quarterback. Come on, Dan. That's, that's a, you know, that's a catch-22 <laughs> right there. <laughs> uh, well, I'm talking to him on Friday. So, I mean, if you want to say him, sometimes you give somebody false praise and you really feel like it's you. You know, when Bob Costas wins sports Emmys, I go, hey, he's the best in the business. Well, deep down I go, no, I, I like my chin. I'm better. <laughs> so if that's really what you're saying about, uh, about Cam, then that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. He's, he's had a great season so far, but you feel like you're better. You know, Cam, Cam's a great player. <laughs> he brings something to the table that not, not a lot of quarterbacks do at his size. Uh, you, you go back and you look at Vince Young, and, you know, I think, I think um, Cam's throwing motion is a little different than Vince, and I think he's got a little more zip, but they, they, I feel like they run similar, um, and, and that makes him a dynamic player. Could you beat him up? I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to see. Okay. Well, these are the, inc- these are the important questions that, uh, you know, these scouts want to know in the NFL. Could you beat him up? <laughs> uh, we would have to see. It depends on my mood. All right. Uh, well, I, you should be riled up, ready to go against Auburn. Uh, you guaranteeing a win? I, let me write this down. Okay, I'm ready? Not, I'm not guaranteeing Oh, you're anything. not? Okay. I don't, think, I don't think you can guarantee anything in the SEC. Um, that's, that's how the conference is. Anything can happen on uh, any Saturday in this conference. All right. Well, good luck. I hope you don't shrink. And uh, good luck against uh, Auburn coming up this weekend. Thanks, Dan. All right, that's Ryan Mallon, Arkansas quarterback.